This is Matt Russell, and welcome to the Daily Effects Forum. So here are the five pairs that I will be discussing this evening. The Euro Pound, the Aussie Kiwi, the Pound Swiss, the Euro Swiss, as well as the Euro Aussie. So let's go ahead and pull up the charts. The first chart is the Euro Pound. You should still all be in this trade again, which was short from 88.23. And again, I would keep the stop at 88.75, looking for prices to eventually take out these lows here, which is about the 86.45 area. And initial targets would be down near that 85 figure, but I certainly will update during tomorrow's report. The next chart is the Aussie Kiwi and if you recall two reports back we had the short trade that was stopped out on the upper channel line. I, I really like the way this looks now with this candle with the long wick uh, drafted during yesterday's session. The high of that candle is 27.62 so I like short trades against that high. Uh, I'd look to enter maybe about 15 pips or so higher than prices are right now so call it entry short 127 even with a stop at 127.80 again which would be a above the high of the, this candle wick here, which is 27.62. The next chart is the pound Swiss. And if you were listening to yesterday's report, you were stopped out. Again, that, that was an entry at 69.10 uh, with a stop at 69.90. And again, that's just part of trading. So I'm just going to stay on the sidelines now. The next chart is the Euro Swiss. And again, still just waiting for the possibility of, a head, of an inverted head and shoulder pattern here to, to form. But I would need a few more days uh, for this pattern to kind of pan out here or play out if you you will or kind of draft itself so I'm just going to stay on the sidelines until that does occur the next chart is the Euro Aussie and again I'm still just waiting for prices to come up to, to that 159 area the trade would be short right now at, at 159.25 with a stop at 160 uh, but prices again about 300 pips or so away from that so it could materialize by the end of this week but uh, maybe towards the beginning of next week is when this trade will actually set up. Again, my name is Matt Russell. Thanks for listening. And please stay tuned for a preview of the Daily FX Forums. I want to take this opportunity to formally welcome you all to the Daily FX Forums. I want to go through the process of how I personally access the forums and how maybe you at home, if you want to access the forums in the future, might do so. The first thing you would do is go to www.dailyfx.com and that will bring up obviously dailyfx.com and usually there on the upper right hand corner I'll go ahead and click on where it says forum and that will bring up the first page of the forums and this this view I personally don't use this view but this view actually shows you uh, the most recent posts on all the threads within the different sections and a little detail about those posts so uh, you can read through and see if there's something you know catches your interest uh, but personally I go ahead and just click on forums and and view them in the more traditional sense now these are different threads within the forum there's a section on education such as daily FX course instructor tips which would be good for newer traders and then for more advanced traders and I just want to go ahead you know personally the way I use the forums is I would go through the individual threads uh, just looking for trade ideas maybe looking at charts looking at certain lines that maybe I didn't put up on my chart but but another trader might have put up on their chart uh, I, I I tend to, you know, shy away from using direct trade recommendations from other forum members, but it, it helps me to um, sort of even out my analysis, make sure that I'm that I'm seeing things, uh, you know, with a with the right mind in terms of, you know, I might be missing stuff that other traders can see, and that that's, you know, my personal way of using the forum. You know, every trader is going to be a little bit different in how they use it. So, if you want to ask questions, if you want to become an active participant of the members, you would have to go ahead and register. So that's what I'm going to go through now is the registration process. So assuming you're brand new to the forums or maybe you've been here a few times and you're not really sure how it works. So I just want to walk through again uh, the registration process. Uh, this would be the front page uh, wh where you would access or the previous page. You'd have the same little box here on the left hand side. Obviously, my username and password are already filled out here. But assuming you're a new member, you would click on where it says register and that will bring up the registration page. If you give me one moment here while my browser loads. And actually first uh, we're going to have uh, some terms of service uh, and daily effects form rules. I do suggest reading through the the forum rules um, obviously you know profanity and spam and things like that are not allowed uh, but it also gives you insight on you know how to act, how to use the forum and how different traders can use it uh, you know in terms of their individual needs so you would go down to the bottom there you'd click on where it says I have read all the rules and then you would go ahead to the register uh, the, the formal registration page and that will bring up here 
and you can go ahead and select the username and how about we'll use 4x and that name is already in use uh, so maybe add a few more X's there um, again it really you know your, your individual username is up to you and you go ahead and fill in your password your email address now the most difficult aspect of registration for the daily FX forms will be figuring figuring out these letters uh, in the box here now I'm a semi intelligent person uh, but I have a very difficult time figuring out which letters and numbers to use now there is there is a reason uh, for this madness uh, it helps with security uh, but I would suggest just going going ahead and keep on clicking that refresh image until something comes through that you can actually identify and see uh, then you can go ahead and enter your birthday but you can decide whether or not uh, to to display that to other form members and then also if you were referred by somebody you can enter that information there the time zone that should default to your computer but you should you know double check and make sure and then you can opt in uh, and I would you know suggest opting in for these emails in terms if the administrators want to go ahead and send you some notices about the form and then you would complete registration uh, now what happens is they would send you an email uh, to the email address that you put up here and that email will include a link and all you would have to do is go ahead and click on that link and that link will bring you inside the form and you would now be a member of the daily effects forums again this is matt russell thanks for listening